What up, fam? It's Big Ninja here. Um, this is going to be about how King Gordy was interviewed about Horrorcore, ICP, uh, MNE, and more. It was on a podcast called John's Untitled Podcast. And, of course, I'm going to leave a link in the description, um, just like I did with... Um, the Jimmy Madrox interview yesterday. Um, same thing applies. I haven't checked out either one, but I am going to. But yeah, um, I'm I'm a fan of King Gordy myself. Um, he is also part of Lars, also known as the Last American Rock Stars. Um, some of what I like that he's done was he uh, did a song called Vader. And then he did a diss track on Justin Bieber. I know that Justin Bieber track's real controversial because of the the lyrics involved with it, but I liked it. Um, he's done some real controversial stuff, and it's kind of gotten him into some shit. I can get where some people don't care for that type of thing, but to me it's just lyrics, you know? Unless he's going out there actually doing those things, I don't take a big deal to it. Also, he was in songs on the Year of the Sword, um, which Twisted and uh, Magic Ninja Entertainment um, put together. Um, one of the songs I like off of there was Don't Tell Me. I thought he did an overall good job with everything he did on Year of the Sword. Like I said, I like his music. I get his music isn't for everyone. I know he gets plenty of criticism, and I know plenty of people don't like his music. Um, if you're at all interested in not having the latest news um, for him and his uh, you know, um, Project Lars or The Last American Rock Stars with him and uh, Bizarre, go check out my boy Sid Jones' channel. Um, He's awesome. Talks about a lot of Lars and m &E stuff, so shout out to Sid Jones. Um, you know, he's been doing an awesome job lately. Plus, uh, quickly, you know, I won one of his his giveaways off of off of random. So, that's awesome. But yeah, much love to my boy Sid Jones. Um, go check him out. I'll, I'll link his channel in the description, too. He's, he's just a huge fan. He was in one of their their music videos lit. Um, I, I love the lit video myself. It was awesome. Just just a banger of a song. It's got that rock and rap element all in one. And the music video is just su super cool. You know, this crowd looks just hype. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm definitely going to go uh, check this interview out. I hope, you know, um, King Gordian Bazaar as... Lars or the last American rock stars can keep killing it. They're doing an awesome job. Um, they just put out their own version of the, the Star Spangled Banner called the Lars Spangled Banner, which um, was King Gordy uh, singing, um, which I thought was really funny. Go go check that out. Um, but yeah, like they're... Uh, he, I think, I think he's killing. It. He's also worked with Jimmy Don, um, which they made a CD together called "How to Gag a Maggot." I've listened to some of that CD. Um, it's dark. Like if you like dark kind of rap with a lot of like you know dark, like you know controversial type of theme, you know, go check that out. It's an awesome CD. Uh, you know, yeah, shout-outs to Jimmy Don. He's he's from where I live, um, which is also Minnesota. He, he's awesome, too. Go go check him out. But yeah, I, I think this will... I think it'll be real interesting to catch what he's got to say. I know there's been some controversial stuff that he's already said about, you know, ICP or just kind of his thoughts on um, kind of, you know, both labels... But yeah, um, go check it out. Like I said, I'll leave the links to both um, the interview and my homie Sid Jones' um, channel. 
Um, if you guys like what I'm doing here, give me a comment, a share, a like, and a subscribe. And hit the bell notification if you want stuff early. It's been your boy, Big Ninja. Peace.